Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Word gives you the ability to convert a table into a delimited text file and the ability to convert a delimited text file into a table. First, however, you need to learn what a delimited text file is. A text file is just another name for a basic text document. When a text file is used to transfer table information, it often cannot send the data in an actual table format. For example, some applications cannot read word tables. Often these programs are database applications into which you want to import data stored in a word table. In this case, you must signify the structure of the table using some other means. This is where the delimiter is used. A delimiter is a standard recognized punctuation character that represents the division of information within a string of text. There are typically a few punctuation characters that are commonly used as delimiters in delimited text files. The comma is probably the most common. Many times, you will hear people who work with databases referring to comma delimited text files. In layman's terms, this is simply a shortened way of referring to a text file that represents table data where a comma is placed between each piece of data that should be contained within its own column in a row. Often, the paragraph mark is used to represent a new row of data. This is simply a standard that has evolved for importing and exporting data between database applications that may not otherwise be able to access the data. Word can take data stored in its tables and convert it into a delimited text file so it can be imported into other applications that would otherwise find the table information inaccessible. It can also open a delimited text file often exported from another application, and convert it into a word table. Now that you understand the concepts behind the process, let's examine how you can perform each task if needed. To convert a word table into a delimited text file, click into the table that you want to convert. Next, click the Convert to Text button located in the Data Button group on the Layout tab. This will open up the Convert Table to Text dialog box. In this dialog box, select the punctuation mark that you want to use to separate the column of data. Often the comma is used, but the tab character is another popular choice. Note that you can choose almost any character, but are probably better off sticking to standard conventions. Once you have selected your desired delimiter, click the OK button to convert the table. Likewise, you also may open a delimited text file and convert it to a word table. To do this, open the file that contains the delimited text that you want to convert into a table. Select the text to convert within the file, and then click the Insert tab in the ribbon. Click the Table button drop-down in the Tables button group, and then select the Convert Text to Table command from the drop-down menu that appears. This will open the Convert Text to Table dialog box where you can set the behavior of the table that will be created from the text file. In this dialog box, set the number of columns to create from the selected text. Assuming that the text file has been correctly delimited, Word should have this information already set. However, for some delimited files, you may need to enter the number of columns if no character was used to delimit the rows of data. In the Auto Fit Behavior section, you can set how Word will accommodate the information when creating the columns. In the Separate Text At section, you simply select the delimiter used to separate the column data in the file. When you have finished, click the OK button to convert the delimited text into a Word table. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.